I just want to start off the video and say most of you guys have been super awesome. Thank you for the support. It really uh, encourages me when you guys uh, give me kind words and helps me keep going. But now we got to talk about the Debbie Downers. I know, it sucks. <laughs> That is a cool disc, dude. I'm sure Ben will be happy when I return this to him. So today I have a little disc diving drama for you. Um, I was out in northern Indiana, and I was disc diving just like a regular day, and uh, I had somewhere to be right after I got done disc diving. And I didn't get a chance to call the numbers right then and there because I had somewhere to be. And I ended up calling the numbers when I got home, which home is probably about seven, eight hours away. And, you know, I figured, how about I just ship them back? It'd be like four bucks a shipping label, which I've done with most of you guys, and most of you guys have been really cool about. Well, uh, people got really mad about it. And I'm just trying to understand what the problem is with me going out of my way to ship them back to you. It was only a couple people. Well, one guy said it was like the whole Northern Indiana community that got mad about it. But I'm not sure. I don't really know what's real, what's not. I don't know if people are just trying to get this from me or what. But I do know this. This one lady texts me her name was on the disc. Her name was Nicole. I'm not going to give you any other information besides that. But here is what the text exchange said. So I'll be honest with you guys. I used to jump in. I've been I've been disc diving now for about five years. I used to jump in my local community pond and uh, sell the ones with names and numbers on them. When I first started doing it, I thought it was like golf. I thought you could jump in, find your find your golf balls or disc, and uh, you know do whatever you want with them. Well, not the disc golf community. So they, so somebody found out, they got really mad, blew up my Facebook, the whole community is over here cussing me out, doing whatever, which is fine, you know. I didn't realize it was that big a deal. And I still struggle with it. I still struggle with uh, whether or not it's a big deal to sell somebody's disc. And when I say somebody's, I say somebody that threw it in the pond and decided not to go after it. Because let's be honest, 99% of the time, disc golfers throw their disc in the pond and they don't truly go after it. And what I mean truly is, after they throw it in the pond, they don't jump in right away and go after it. They might come back later and try to fish it out with like a, a pole or something. But I still struggle with that. But I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start giving giving this back with names and numbers on them you know I'll start doing that so so I started doing that and now I have people over here mad at me for saying whoa as soon as you got out of the water you should have called all the names and numbers please come on seriously I got in the water I even cut up my feet while I was in the water and I got a cut on my foot and it kind of hurts it's nasty I'm getting your disc out for you. And then all I ask is $4 for a shipping label, literally just a shipping label. And on top of that, I'm losing money actually because I spend money on an envelope. So it's about 30 cents that I lose, no big deal, 30 cents. Still losing money. So I will say this, after I get out of the pond, I will call your name, your name and number right then and there. But if you don't respond right away, or if you take like, because I'll stay there for at least 30 minutes, or I'll try to, but I'm traveling when I do this. So if you don't respond right away, 
that one's kind of on you. And then at that point, I'll just send you a uh, send you your disc back in the mail if you pay for the shipping label. But if you guys could help me out, help me better understand, you know, maybe what I should do. I, I definitely want to like give your disc back. But if you're gonna be mean about it, like uh, Nicole or whoever else, dude, I'm putting that disc on eBay. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be ugly, but I even tried with Nicole. I said, hey, I'll ship your disc back still, you know, even though you were ugly. Never responded. So I'm putting that sucker on eBay. And I'm not trying to be ugly. It's just, it is what it is. It's $4 for a shipping label, like big deal. Honestly, like, I think you should pay somebody for getting your disc out of the pond for you, but I'm not doing that. All you're doing is buying a shipping label. But, I just want you to know that not everybody thinks the same way as you. And you can't be so entitled, you know? I'm going out of my way for you guys, so. I just, I, I hope that this can be like uh, eye awakening, eye opening, is that the word? For the people that don't get their, that I don't get in touch with right away, so I have to ship their disc back. I hope y'all aren't mad. If you are, I'm sorry, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. And uh, I just hope that, you know, peace and love from me, but if you don't feel the same way, I'm sorry. Nothing but love from here. I also want to say this to close, that a lot of the guys that I've met so far are super cool, and I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for the support, and I hope that I got to keep doing this as long as I can, you know, while I'm in good health, because I have a blast. I have a blast doing this. Um, and if you want, uh, you got a local course that has a pond, Nobody wants to get in it. I'll do it. You know, I'll, I'll come in that pond and uh, I'll uh, I'll pull your disc out for you. But I will say this: uh, it, it's it's a blast. Uh, it's like finding buried treasure, and I, I do love I love giving back. So it's fun. I'd like to build a disc golf course. I'm not that into disc golf. I'll be honest, because I'm suck. I suck at it. But, I'm going to, I really want to build a disc golf course because I live in Pikeville, Kentucky. The closest disc golf course to me is an hour and a half away. So, I think it would be awesome to build one here. It's beautiful, if you can't tell. It's all mountains. You could build a beautiful course out here. So, maybe I'll talk to the mayor. Maybe we can get one here. That would be really cool. But, yeah. Also, I don't want to leave without this. I got some discs, and there's a giveaway. I don't know what the discs are, so uh, they don't really have names on them. And by names, I mean like I don't know what kind of disc it is. So if you see one you like, click below in the comment section. Tell me which one you like. Email me. Uh, my email's on my YouTube. Email me your address and I'll send it that way. Alright, peace out guys. Take it easy. I have no clue what this disc is, but it's nice. Feels good. I have no clue what this disc is. This is a West Side disc. Uh, po John Polka. This is a champion. I uh, just dyed this myself. This is a champion sidewinder, I believe. No, maybe it's a. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I believe it's a champion. Yeah, it's a sidewinder. And this is a prodigy disc. I don't know what kind, but that's what it is.